Mm. You know, our, we have a gentleman here. He came with complaints of foreign body sensation, kind of greediness, kind of dryness. Interestingly enough, it was just one eye. Can you look down for me, please? It was just one eye. So it was kind of odd, you know, why, why, why only one eye? Look straight ahead for me again. And we can see on the top part there, somewhere around here, and we see kind of a greedy area of pattern. We put in something called forestry and that binds to certain areas of the cornea that are compromised. So we wonder why, why there? Only on the top, not on the bottom. This is the detective part of uh, being a, an eye doctor. Like uh, you gotta look at the patient's complaint, but also the clinical uh, signs. And we realize that when we avert the lid, we see a little, little guy there. Uh, right there is showing very clearly how there's something can you point at it for a moment right no that right there uh, so what is that well that's something that got stuck in the eye and it's causing the damage so we thought it was dry eye but then when you look a little closer you realize there's something uh really bugging the eye literally uh, that's causing uh, damage to the to, to, to the cornea so uh we can actually remove it uh, it even kind of bleed it a little bit. You can show on the screen there as well. Um, that bleeding is going to go away very fast. But um, there was something stuck to the tarsal conjunctiva that it was making the patient very uncomfortable. We could have just uh, not looked and then dismissed it as a dry eye, but in reality it wasn't dry. It was actually a foreign body embedded in the uh, tarsal conjunctiva or the lead conjunctiva. So now this patient is going to be a lot happier because Everything that was bothering him is gone. So, don't put the paste inside, just me. So, anyway, the, here's another interesting case of what we do every day. If you have foreign body sensation, it could be dry eye, it could be something stuck in your eyes. So, you never know. Thank you, guys.